We're building the Halo Master Chief helmet, complete with a heads-up display. You're an enemy. Oh, the f oh. It actually does feel just like the game. I don't know why everyone's an enemy, though. Halo Infinite has arrived, and we're so excited about it, we're doing three special episodes tackling three different iconic pieces of tech. Bogdan made the energy sword, Charles will build Master Chief's weapon of choice, the MA5. Today, we want to experience Halo. That means getting the same perspective as Master Chief built into a helmet, somehow. Hey, I'm Daryl. Usually, I'm behind the camera. Hey, look at the lens, come on. When I'm not behind the camera, chances are I'm playing Halo. So when I heard we were doing the HUD, I had to step in front of the camera to make sure we do it right. And it all starts with the helmet itself. This is a Halo Master Chief motorcycle helmet that we bought online. Motorcycle helmets are great because they're super comfortable and super strong. We know this from experience. Let me show you how durable this one is. A couple of cosmetic pieces that snap right back on. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's have a display. The user will be wearing this VR headset and the views will be supplied by these three cameras. For night vision, we have the infrared CS mount Raspberry Pi camera. We've removed the infrared filter, which allows invisible infrared light into the camera. Next, we have another CS mount Raspberry Pi camera. I wanted to add a zoom lens so I could add a scope mode just like in the game. There's one issue with this headset. When there's no cameras feeding to it, I can't see anything. So I need a camera just for regular vision. The Z Mini is a stereoscopic camera, which means it has two cameras placed eye distance apart. It creates a more immersive and realistic experience for the wearer. So that's it for view modes, but we all know that the Halo Heads Up display is a lot more than just that. Let's talk about overlays. Look at all this information on screen. I can't believe this is what you see every day. This is a lot. We've got a mini map, we've got ammo count, and we're gonna need all of this in our helmet. So we're gonna need a pretty powerful computer to do that. Do you want one? No? Too bad. This is the brains of the Halo heads-up display, the Jetson Xavier NX. I've gone ahead and sourced a bunch of PNG graphics that will be used to build the different elements of the overlays. I'll be using Visual Studio to write some Python code. The code is essentially a program that pulls the graphics from the overlay library and displays them over top the different camera views inside the headset. This is an example of the normal view. This video has been sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms. Last month, Just Dustin and I battled for dominance in Rise of Kingdoms. With a dozen civilizations to choose from, you can turn the tide of history, forming your own invincible empire in this super fun and free strategy game. I was a Viking, Dustin a Roman. Vikings are the best, obviously. And the audience agreed. You voted for Vikings to win, and now Dustin gets to pay the price. Let's watch his punishment. Okay, first of all, Dustin, that doesn't look like nearly enough slime. And it's just bouncing off your head. What is this, the Teen Choice Awards? You lost against the Vikings, man. At least take your punishment seriously. <laughs> you know I love building things. And the beauty of Rise of Kingdoms is to build massive civilizations without too much effort. And with the Vikings 10% loading bonus, you can gather resources faster even while you're away. Escalate your building and prove you're the best commander, just like me, Ragnar. And one of my other favorite parts is playing out history or rather, changing the course of history by taking over the world as a Viking. Download Rise of Kingdoms for free right now using my link below. Something notable while playing Halo is the friend or foe system. Blue for good guys, red for bad guys. So I've asked Chelsea to implement the same system into our Halo hut. So we took photos of all the Hacksmith employees and put them into the Jetson, and then she's programming it so that it identifies one and three as a foe. So if you show up red, you better watch out. Okay, go in. I don't like this. Okay, I'm ready. Hello. 
You're good. <laughs> You're a friend. Okay, Tyler, go ahead. I don't like that smile. You're a foe. No. <laughs> Sorry, Tyler. Okay, Alex, go ahead. I'm actually really scared. You're a friend. Oh, that's good. All right, guys, let's have uh, let's take it easy here. You're a friend. Mike, go ahead. Go easy on me, Charles. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. You're a foe. Oh. Oh. Could have been worse, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, Daryl, head to the middle. Hmm. Suspicious. You're an enemy. Oh, no. oh. Oh. <laughs> Son of oh. 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 Right in the rib. That was the worst one. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. All right, Chelsea, it's time. Charles, please. It's only fair, I guess, but Daryl, it's still only a one in three chance. What does it say, Chelsea? Friend? Great. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Are you okay? I feel bad. Yeah, I'll be good, but you did hit me like right, right. in the nipple. <laughs> oh. I hit you in the nipple? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I, I got a recoil down and I was like, same line, but suddenly, bam. <laughs> all right, well, that was fun. So we have all the individual components working. The issue is this is a lot of stuff to fit inside this helmet. And I don't want to just stick things on the outside because that would look ugly. We need to get creative on how to fit everything inside the helmet. First things first, we need to gut this bad boy. So this isn't working, but I just found out that acetone melts styrofoam as well, so we're gonna try that. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work. I thought the Dremel would work, but because it's a motorcycle helmet, the foam is so thick, it's such a thick layer to get out. Hopefully when I come back, the foam will be disintegrated. I need to give it a while, because like the center is like sunken in now. Oh, look at that. There we go. That worked better than I expected. All right, let's get these cameras mounted. I 3D printed these mounts specifically for the cameras to mount onto the helmet. Time to take apart our virtual reality goggles. And if you want some real reality goggles, check out hacksmith.store. So the reason we can't put this whole VR headset in the helmet is, well, it's too big, it's too chunky. <laughs> we need to strip it down to the important bits 
and fit it inside this headset mount that I 3D printed. To get the Z Mini onto the VR headset, we're gonna use some old fashioned hot glue, but we have to be really careful because we don't wanna get any glue on the headset itself. I really like how this is looking. I just need to do some wire management and we'll be good to test. All right, it's done. Everything's good with it. It's good to go. Oh, let's see how this. Oh my God. That's actually, that's really, really close. Like this is pretty accurate. Man, so you're a friend, you're a friend, you're a friend. Wow, I think, uh, I think we gotta show some people this cause like this is really, really cool. I think we'll probably stop by retail first, see what's going on. You get to try on the, the helmet first. Really? No, that's a lie. I tried it on first. Okay. But you get to try it on second. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Take off your glasses. I'm blind, so that's it's really gonna. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Oh, it's heavy. Are you ready? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, it, it really does work. It, like, it's highlighting you like perfectly. Yeah. And uh, Master. Chief, chief as well. Yeah, master, and then yeah, master Chief. You're all friends from where I can tell. And uh, I can see the ammo, I can see the radar. Um, yeah, this is really cool, wow. So Chris is also a really big Halo fan, probably the most uh, Halo guy in the world. You're the, you're the Halo guy. I'm Halo guy. All right, man, toss this on. <laughs> oh, should I get these? Uh, okay, so in? one of these is a microphone. Okay. And then I think you need to put these uh, oh, headphones. the earbuds. This okay. is what Master Chief does every oh. single time he puts on the helmet. So he I only plugs puts in. it on once. Yep. You oh. got that mic. Oh, I forgot to take off my glasses. Can you take off my glasses? Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Thank, Thank you, dear. Oh, no, no worries. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Friend. Um, what's really cool about this yeah. is that there's different view modes. Right? Oh, really? So if they're voice activated, so if you say Cortana, mm -hmm. night vision, yeah. it should change to night vision. But you got to say it into the microphone. So if you have this kind of up there. Cortana, night vision. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can really see Daryl. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. How do I look? Look at those pearly whites. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Chris, this is probably the best you've ever looked anyways. So. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. No problem. I appreciate that. So it's got night vision. Yep. And it also has a zoom mode. A zoom mode. So I believe if you say Cortana, mm -hmm. zoom mode. You just did it for me. Zoom mode. Whoa. So zoomed. I can really watch Halo now. <laughs> you can watch it close up. So as a as a Halo fan, does it check your boxes, like normal mode, good, friend and foe mode, good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. night vision, accurate, mm -hmm. zoom mode, accurate. Yep, yeah, you can call see that, uh, Call that a success. Charles, 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 Charles. There got there some, oh. uh, got some exciting uh, news for you. The HUD's done. The HUD's done. It's like in that, and is it supposed to sit on your forehead like that? Does the back open? I don't think this fits. Cortana, open you helmet. Have, you, you do have a pretty large head. Yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? Looks pretty cool. It does look great, but uh, can you, there's no way. Eh? There's, no, no, no way, way, no how. All right, uh, moving on. Okay. And his head fits. Thoughts, comments? It's a little bit of a latency. Uh, it does look 3D though. Does it feel like Halo? Infinite, uh, just like the game, right? I've never actually played Halo Infinite. You never played Halo Infinite? I have not. Oh, you no. should give it a shot. It's pretty good. L last time it made me super motion sick. <laughs> I put it on for like three seconds, and now it's not bad. And it actually looks 3D. Like the image feels like it's actually blending pretty well. Does it fit? <laughs> oh, you're all enemies. You're all, all red. I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Does it feel like the game? It you does. Play, you've, it, played, it, you've played Halo. Right? I have played Halo. It, it, it actually does feel just like the game. Anyways. Cool. Nice. 
Yeah, works for that too. Let's go uh, check out Ben here. Have, have you played the Halo games? I played 10, 15 hours maybe. Okay, so you know what like, master, you're looking through Master Chief's eyes here. Yeah. Would you say it's accurate? It's amazingly accurate. I can't, I couldn't tell you what game it's from, but all the elements look right. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the next version of this hardware whenever we put together our next HUD. Well, Chelsea, this has got to be our most advanced heads up project yet. Fantastic work. I just wanted to present you with a little Hacksmith internship certificate to recognize your time here at Hacksmith Industries. Uh, thank you, James. I had a lot of fun working here, and this is the most exciting co-op I've ever had, so thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, don't forget to click the link in the description below and download Rise of Kingdoms for free right now and support my civilization, the Vikings. And of course, a big shout out to our Roman adversary, Just Dustin, for being such a good sport. Good luck with all that slime. Huge thank you to Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring this video.